your scene needs a focal point and that is exactly what we're talking about today. Now, what I covered in a previous video was about composition. Composition, looking at these six different rules. So we got the rule of thirds, the golden spiral, L shape, S shape, triangle and diagonal. These are compositions which let you choose where your focal point will be. The link for this video is in the description, so check that out if that's interesting. Today, on a whole new sheet of paper, we're talking about how to enhance your focal point. I'm going to do it with a, a little sketch, of course. So we're going to choose the L shape of a composition. Now, as a reminder of for people who didn't check out that video, the L shape looks like this, or it could look like this. It doesn't matter which way around. The idea is to asymmetrically split your page up and have points of interest along these lines. So our scene, we're going to make it a little lighthouse scene because I love lighthouse scenes. And we're going to focus on this L shape idea. So on one side, we're going to have going up here, of course, our lighthouse. We can just build our lighthouse in like this and have it coming down. And you see how this is going along that. And maybe underneath it's got a little, uh, sort of one of those little outbuildings that lighthouses often have, a little door. And then going along here, it's going to have like some rocks going along this edge, a few bits of grass. But how do we make this interesting? How do we fill the scene, but also make sure we've got a focal point? Well, there's just a few little things to think about. So firstly, how bold are your lines? Bold lines will make things come forward visually. So if we make our lighthouse really bold, it's going to be the first thing that people look at. It's important not to overdo this effect, but do you notice how just like this, suddenly this lighthouse is drawing your eye. Even if we popped in, let's say, some distant hills in the background, if we keep them really nice and light, we could even do a little, a little cloud. This way we're filling up our scene, but we are focusing on our focal point by the depth and weight of line. Now, what else can we do? Well, what we want to do is enhance the amount of detail, the, the, not just the weight of the individual lines, but getting even more line work there by finding those key details. That might be windows, it might be doors, it might be textures, maybe there's bricks, it might be little things, maybe there's a little um, chimney and more windows that we could add here. And this might even be where you, as an artist, you have a scene and you start adding things which aren't really there. You add a couple of birds because those birds increase the amount of line work in our focal area, maybe a couple of bushes, or you could even add maybe there's a little sheep at the edge here. All these things are increasing the amount of line work going along our focal area, and that is ensuring that our composition, the L shape, matches up with what people will see, how they'll actually interpret your scene. Now, the last of my key little points is actually to do with colour. So, in these kinds of scenes where we are trying to get people to check in on our focal point more than anything else, well actually focusing your colour in those areas is another great way to make sure people see what you wanted them to see, to see all the effort you've put in. If we spend too long elsewhere, if we spend too long doing the sky, doing whatever else details aren't important, well they just then won't notice as much as you want them to, all this effort you've put into your focal point, and your scene might just lack a bit of direction as a result. But if we just focus our colours really simply, look at this, really, really simply focus our colours down in these key areas, just our eyes are magically drawn to this composition. And there you go, in three really simple rules, we've enhanced our focal point. Don't forget to check out the compositional rules video, and if you want more teaching like this, check out my website, www.sketchloose.co.uk, link below, where I have loads of in-depth courses and workshops. 
Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. So thank you everyone for watching my little sketching videos. If you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel because it makes me really, really happy. Thanks again.